Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Glory. In this channel, we do a lot of cleaning, motivation, cooking, and everything homemaking. In today's video, we are going to feature cleaning my deep freezer. As you can see, it's a bit dirty. It's been a while since I last cleaned it. Yeah, I let it the ice to thaw a bit, and then I'll be using this scraper scrape off the ice it came with a deep freezer i would like to appreciate you for stopping by and thank you for being here thank you to my new subscribers i'd like to appreciate you all thank you also to my returning subscribers i cannot forget you thank you thank you all for your support in today's video we are going to start with uh, cleaning the deep freezer and then i'll do a grocery haul and then uh, we'll also clean the fridge and then we are going to be doing a lot of cooking today i want to do some meal prep i'll be cooking some githeri i'll be boiling also uh, other cereals like black beans the beans i'll also do uh, some pre-cooked chapatis mandazis and also some muffins yeah because the kids are home i mean uh, they, they want to eat throughout the day and i would like uh, to have something ready for them to have when they feel hungry or even like in the morning when i decide you know i don't feel like waking up so early they can get something for themselves yeah everything is just easy just to though and also to just warm and they're able to have whatever they need yeah so that is all we are going to be to, uh, doing today and uh hope you watch until the end and see how everything turns out had a feeling we had something could have seen it in your eyes took a second better my here waiting for you We'll be using this Dr. Beckman uh, fridge and microwave hygiene cleaner. Yeah, I like uh, to use it after I wipe down with the water and soap. And then uh, 
yeah it gives it a really nice smell and you know it feels it smells fresh after this yeah that's what i like to use you can find it at carrefour or naivas that's why i bought it so it's available and it's quite um it's not that expensive it's affordable yeah it's a really nice product and as you can see now my freezer is nice and clean it's shiny and uh I want to return uh, this uh, divider and then I'll put back the sliding glass and then now we're going to go to cleaning our vegetables and also the fridge and uh, if you're new here and you've not subscribed please subscribe help me to grow this channel and uh, also give it a thumbs up and uh, turn on your notification bell so that you get notified anytime I post a new video here that is the the greens there that's the moranda and then I also got these potatoes I only bought a few items from my local market and here I just have a few onions Right now, onions are very expensive, so I just bought a few to use just for a short while, and that's garlic. And uh, this is uh, turmeric, ginger, and a white onion. Yeah, I have lemons. Yeah, they're quite big, and also some tomatoes. And then here I have a red pepper and then uh, that's a beetroot, just got one. And then another green pepper and then I got uh, three courgettes or if you like zucchini. And then I also got some cucumber, just two pieces for a salad. And then I also got some uh, eggplant or aubergine if you like. That's how we call it. I only got three pieces. And then here I got one head of broccoli. Yeah, this is what I'm going to be having tomorrow. And then here I got some carrots. Yeah, I like my gideri with carrots. So I'm going to be making that with the carrots. Um, I also bought this maize. This is the green maize. I'm going to use it for gideri. I'll be cooking gideri tomorrow. And then uh, this this is uh, black beans or jahe as we call them. Yeah, I like them so much. And this is uh, beans. I bought the muitemania beans. And this is uh, rice. Yeah, I got it from a cereal shop. I got the other cereals from. Then I got this uh, peptang tomato paste. And then here I got a maize. This is the brand that I really like so much. I like the ugali that we cook with using the maize. I also passed by the posho meal today. I decided to try something new. Here, I got some flour from the posho meal. I'm going to be mixing it with the maize. Yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. And then here, I have some chapati flour. Yeah, this is wheat flour. I'm going to use it for my chapatis. And then I got eggs, self-raising flour for my cakes and mandazis. Yeah, I'll be making several of them. And then here I got just two packets of milk. This is the Mount Kenya milk. That's the milk that I like so much. And uh, that's, yeah, that's the groceries that I got today. Yeah, 
just got a few just for a few days yeah that's it I want to wash the vegetables and I will use the bicarbonate of soda. I will just put just a little bit into the water and then I'm going to soak my vegetables in it just for a few minutes and then I'll wash them thereafter. I like to use this brush to wash some vegetables like the lemons yeah to remove all the dirt that is inside the the peel yeah and also like to use it on my carrots so I'd be able to remove all the dirt you know that is hidden in sometimes you find the carrots have some grooves and some dirt gets hidden there so this brush really helps to remove the dirt yeah and uh, I'm now rinsing them and then I'm going to show you how I pack them we all know that it's a lie now I'm all alone cause you never show you say you will but then you the vegetables uh, get dry I'm going to start cleaning this uh, fridge yeah it has a small freezer there and that's some meat that you're going to be having today evening yeah my fridge is just empty yeah but uh, anyway that's okay that is all that is in there so let's start cleaning I'm using some warm water with dish soap yeah I'm going to wipe it down and then after that I'm going to use the Dr. Beckman fridge and microwave hygiene cleaner just to give it that nice smell Stand and fight I'm the thick night The world is cold 
And now that the fridge is now clean, we are going to store our vegetables. I like storing them in these Ziploc bags. Yeah, you can get them from the supermarket. Yeah, just try and remove all the air before you store your food or vegetables. Yeah, so I to be able to preserve their freshness. And they're also reusable. You can just wash and reuse them once more. This is how the fridge looks now. Still almost empty. Here are the vegetables. This way I store them. This bin is a bit big, so it accommodates a lot. Yeah, the rest of the vegetables. My meal can also space for my leftovers and other things. Yeah, that's just it. Now this is the following day. This is in the morning. I am prepping these beans for our gideri. Yeah, this is how I like, you know, just to sit outside here and do my stuff. My charcoal jiko is now ready to cook. I'm placing this huge sufuria of gideri. Yeah, that's my gideri there. That's the be maize and beans. I'm using this jiko because this is a lot of gideri. I don't want to do several batches. I just want to cook it at once. And this is my area where I like to, you know, sit and chill. And this is my little garden over here. I have some few vegetables. And that's my rosemary plant. It's doing well. And if you are with me until this far, and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, like, comment and share. And also remember to put on the notification bell so to be able to be notified anytime I upload a new video. And here I'm washing my black beans. I'm going to be cooking them in the pressure cooker because this is just a little. And then after this, I will also boil my, my beans, my regular beans. And now I'm adding hot water. In order to fasten the process of cooking so they can cook fast
yeah it hot water helps it to cook fast because it takes a while before it builds pressure if you use cold water yeah so i'm putting on the lid and then i'm going to seal for it to be able to build pressure and cook um i'm going to use the I'm going to use the beans option i have set it to one hour 20 minutes because um these are dry cereals and not soaked before yeah so yeah the black beans are now done i'm going to release the pressure yeah once the pressure is gone the pin goes down and it's now safe to open the pressure cooker yeah and our black beans are now done so after this i'll be doing the the other beans and also some maize and here this much later our gather is now cooked i'm going to pack it yeah i like to reuse this uh, prestige margarine containers they really come in handy yeah and these are the one kg ones so they can take a lot I am done packing so now I'm going to label them using um, masking tape and then I will also use a felt pen to write what is in the container and the day that it was packed yeah like that we have the black beans and today is the 7th of November 2023 this helps me know what is what came in first so i'll be able to consume that uh, because i i like you know cooking more in between so i need to know which one came first and this is all that we're able to do we have the githeri we have our beans we have some maize that i just boiled and then we have our black beans orange he yeah, I like uh, my njahe with in my mukimo. I like, uh, you know, making mukimo. So I'm now just covering them after I'd left them to cool completely. Before you pack your food, always make sure that it's completely cool so as to avoid a uh, freezer burn. And that's what I did here. And I'm now going to store them in the freezer. Here I have two, three, four, five, six. I have seven containers of githeri. And then here I have three containers of black beans. And this small container of maize. And then here I have four containers of beans. The beans, we use them when we are cooking either rice or chapati yeah so that's it here i want to prepare some mandazi i'm going to add in this uh, lemon rind that i grated and then uh, i'm going to also use some juice from the lemon and then i'll add in some uh, some sugar some cinnamon and some uh, cardamom just to you know i want to do something different today yeah this is the cardamoms they have a really nice smell and taste so i'm just going to add just a little of that and then this is the cinnamon so I'm also going to add in that to the flour. That's just how much, but I decided to add more. 
because this was a lot of mandazi and then I'm going in with the sugar yeah that's how much I put you just put according to how much you want to cook and then I'll just mix everything together just to make sure everything is well incorporated and then I'm going to add in some oil and then give it a mix and then I'll add in some warm water and then I'll do the mandazis so this is later this is uh, mandazis I've already cut them into pieces this is how much I'm going to cook today yeah today is going to be such a long day are now done that's how much we have yeah and uh, we are now starting the chapatis yeah that that's the how many chapatis we are going to have today yeah so let's get on with it so here I'll just be pre-cooking them I'll just heat them on one side and then turn over to the other side and then I'll just put them aside I'll not just cook the way you do normal chapatis I just want to pre-cook them because I'm going to be freezing them yeah that's how it's supposed to be so let's continue with the chapatis Our chapatis are now done. I'm just laying them here so that they can cool completely because uh, we can't freeze them when they are still warm because they're going to, you know, just um, stick to stick together. So I've divided them into ten pieces, so there are about forty of them. So I'm going to pack them in these uh, Ziploc bags. This, uh, this is the brand that I use. I got it from Naivas Supermarkets. Yeah, I'm uh, storing them in batches of uh, 10 because that's just how much we need for one meal for the family. Yeah. Always 
portion according to how much you're taking when you want to freeze your food so that it is easy and you don't um you don't uh, have your food get wasted yeah so this i'm just going to just have the 10 of them for one meal because you know we are six of us yeah so that's it remove all the air it's always good to remove all the air make sure that it's airtight had a feeling we had something could have seen it in your eyes took a second better my here waiting for you with open arms how about you coming closer we can do my place maybe we Meeting up by seven, you'll be saying over, oh, so it's guaranteed I'll be forever thinking about you and me I don't wanna let you go, I don't wanna let you go nah. Tell me what you want to know Run your fingers down me slow I am now going to store the chapatis into the freezer Because they are now cold And this is the rest of the food that I that I'd prepared earlier it's already frozen by now this is how much i have in this freezer yeah those are bottles of milk that i like to keep there yeah that's it at least now it's almost full so we'll be adding more so th this is the rest of the chapatis that i'm adding here it's always good to have something in the fridge i'm not uh, laboring them because uh, we are going to consume consume them within the next one or, or two weeks so they are not going to be here for long we also have the mandazis i made so much so i need to freeze some of it so that it doesn't go bad yeah then you can just you know warm them in the microwave and have them with your tea after this uh it's now in the evening i decided to make some muffins i normally use this toaster oven because i don't have the big cooker with an oven this is what i use for my baking so those are my my first batch of muffins going in and um I'm baking them at 180 degrees yeah that's 180 degrees and then I'm going to set the clock to 25 minutes yeah that's 25 minutes and let's wait for them to, to get ready now that's a progress yeah And now they are done. Nice, nice muffins. They are done. So we are going to have some of these tomorrow morning for our breakfast. And then I'm going to be storing the rest away to have at a later date. So this is the first batch. I'm, so I made two. Yeah, that's the second one going in. Yeah. See, still at 180 degrees. And then for this particular one, I'm setting the clock to 30 minutes because the first one I set at 25, but I had to add five more minutes. So this one is going to take 30 minutes. Yeah, they're now ready. And look at them. They look so nice. Yeah, they look so nice. So I'll set them aside so they can cool. And right now I'm putting in, there's some butter that remained. So I just decided to put it into this uh, baking tin. Yeah, and I'm going to set it at, um, at, at uh, 30 minutes and at 180 degrees yeah these are the muffins i'm just uh, letting them cool here yeah 
as we wait for the for the other one to come out of the oven look how they look like yeah it's now done I'm going to take it out of the oven but before we do so we are going to check with this toothpick to see if it is well done yeah yeah for you to know if it is well done the toothpick should come out clean and dry and yeah this one is is well done and i'm going to take it out of the oven and let it cool in the tin for at least 10 minutes and then put it on the wire rack so it can continue cooling as of now it's a bit late in the evening so i'll switch off that and then i'm going to you know just leave them to cool and and then i'll take care of everything tomorrow morning yeah that's how they look like um this is now the following day after they have cooled i decided to put some into the freezer because i want to freeze them in a bag the best way is to you know freeze them separately and then put them in a bag and now this is the cake that we did i'm slicing it you're going to have some of it together with some muffins for our breakfast and then i'm going to be storing the rest away yeah the kids will have whatever is left at uh, four with their tea yeah this is how it looks like it's very soft it's very moist yeah i'm storing this to have them later actually this cake did not last the day the kids were you know so excited and they're so you know they they had it throughout the day they didn't even make it to four o'clock yeah, so I'm going to set this one aside and then I'm checking on the ones that I put to the freezer. Yeah, they are now frozen, they are rock solid. So I'm going to pack them into this Ziploc bag. And if you've watched until this far, I want to thank you so much. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for all the new subscribers. For my returning subscribers, I want to thank you so much. And for those who have not subscribed, please subscribe, comment, give this video a thumbs up, and put on that notification bell so that you get notified anytime I post a new video. And uh, this is how my fridge is now looking. I mean, my freezer. Yeah, I'm happy it's now almost full at least the kids have stuff to bite yeah that's how it looks right now so i think we've come to the end of this video and i would like to thank you for watching see you in the next one bye